hi everyone so from the last two videos i have been explaining the derivation of this propagation of tm waves in rectangular waveguide okay so we have obtained this boundary conditions 1 2 and 3 in the previous video so whatever the boundary condition we have obtained that immediately needs to be submitted in the latest equation after that the constants are going to be evaluated one by one so in the third boundary condition we have obtained the equation for a and similarly in the fourth boundary condition we will be obtaining the equation for b okay uh, so after the third boundary condition this is the equation we have got now coming to the fourth boundary condition fourth boundary condition so what is the fourth boundary which is the fourth boundary here in the rectangular waveguide if you take this is the fourth this is the fourth boundary okay along the boundary i told you already along the boundary the electric field component ez is equal to zero this is x and this is y and zero to a and this is b okay and this is the fourth boundary this is your rectangular waveguide okay i am drawing each, every time i am drawing this you no need to draw every time because i am wearing the slides here uh, it is very difficult to go back and explain there so that's why i am drawing the diagrams again and again okay uh, this is the direction z now along this fourth boundary can you tell me what is the fourth boundary equations uh, along the boundary i told you the electric field component ez is equal to zero yet now where we are talking at x is having a fixed value but y is varying from here to here okay at x is equal to a for all y varies from from where to where 0 to b 0 to b okay now substitute these values in this equation 4 so from equation 4 from equation 4 0 is equal to ez is equal to 0 c2 sin bx now it is sin b into x is nothing but a and similarly c4 sin y is varying from 0 to b so it's a variable keep as it is n pi y b into y now from these two factors which needs to be equated to 0 it is a variable second factor is a variable y is a variable okay it is varying from 0 to b but what about the first one first factor is a constant so therefore we can write a c2 sin b a is equal to 0 and we can write it as sin b a is equal to 0 so what about b a now b a is equal to again it is a multiples of integral multiples of pi because sin pi 2 pi 3 pi everything is going to be 0 so you are taking m pi already i have taken n in the previous case for the third boundary condition so here i am taking m pi for fourth boundary condition so what is the equation now b is equal to m sorry m pi by m pi by a so we have obtained b as m pi by a a as n pi by b now substitute this b value in the fourth equation latest equation so that ez is equal to therefore ez finally we have obtained ez as c2 sin m pi by a c4 sin n pi by b uh, this is a yeah. Here it is x. Here it is y. This is the equation. Now along with these two, I am also introducing two more. E power minus delta z into E power j omega t. These two were not there in the previous equations here. But now I have added y. E power minus delta z. 
sorry gamma z what is gamma gamma is nothing but operator in the z direction what is the meaning of z z is nothing but direction of propagation into e power j omega t e power j omega t it represents the sinusoidal variations with respect to time i will write here where e power minus gamma z represents e power minus gamma z represents the direction of propagation direction of propagation of em wave of em wave electromagnetic signal direction is in the z direction okay and similarly e power j omega t represents the uh, sinusoidal variation sinusoidal variations with respect to time t with respect to time t okay and let us consider c2 c4 is equal to some constant c then after again just rewriting the above equation because it is c here it is e power a into e power b we can write it as e power a plus b so ez is equal to ez is equal to some c sin m pi by a into x sin m pi by a into x sin n pi by b into y okay you can keep this in bracket if you want and e power j omega t minus gamma j okay so this is the final value of ez what we have obtained using separate variable method and some boundary conditions okay ez now already we know ex ey hx and hy from the first derivation propagation of waves in the rectangular wave that is those are the generalized wave equations which are valid for te and tm okay uh, we know that ex is equal to ex is equal to minus gamma by h square these equations again i am saying ex cy hx hy i will consider those four equations in this uh, derivation these four have been applied obtained in the previous derivations okay propagation of waves in the rectangular wave if you have any doubt to go through that video so ex is equal to minus gamma by h square do ez by do x minus j omega mu by h square do hz by do y okay but we know from tm wave statement we can say hz is equal to 0 hz is equal to 0 so, so if you substitute hz is equal to 0 the second factor goes to 0 only third factor left so that is equal to ex is equal to minus gamma by h square do ez by do x this is what finally we have got for ex now keep this constant as it is minus gamma by h square do by do x into ez what is ez now whatever we have obtained using boundary conditions that we need to substitute here after derivating with respect to x then we will be having final equation for ex hope you understand the process what we are doing okay so what is uh, ez what is ez this one 
this one okay take this as number what is the number 5 so from this number 5 ez is equal to c into something now we need to substitute that c sin m pi by a into x sin n pi by b into y into e power j omega t minus gamma z okay now take the constants outside whichever is derivative that needs to be in the equation otherwise apply, apply directly derivation and uh, dou by dou x all these are multiplication so we no need to worry about that dou by dou x is applicable to what only this one only this one because the remaining every parameter is uh, not related to x so sin sin a derivation sin sin nothing but cos sin derivation is nothing but cos so cos again this uh, x is derivative so here m pi by a is there m pi by a will come uh, so c into sin becomes cos m pi by a into x again this m pi by a will come as it is a factor for the variable x okay and these are constant c sin n pi by b normal derivation i am just using normal derivation e power j omega t minus gamma z so that is equal to again any simplification is there St minus gamma by h square c into m pi by a take this outside cos m pi by a into x sin n pi by b into y into e power minus e power j omega t minus gamma z this is the value of x okay similarly we can calculate ex uh, ey hx and hy so we know ey is equal to what is ey minus gamma by h square do ez by do y plus j omega mu by h square into do hz by do x but for tm wave but for tm wave hz is equal to 0 so ey is equal to minus gamma by h square do ez by do y again substitute that ez and derivate with respect to y then you will be having i am writing the final equation just you go through the derivation derivation is very simple whichever is the applicable that has to be derived derivated remaining capacities n pi by b cos n pi by b into y sin m pi by a into x e power j omega t minus gamma z this is ey and similarly i am writing the similar equations okay see the derivations you can do from the equations what we have done in the previous uh, videos hx is equal to hx is equal to what is that hx j omega epsilon by h square c into n pi by b cos n pi by b into y into sin m pi by a into x 
e power j omega t minus gamma z okay and h y is equal to minus j omega epsilon by h square c m pi by a cos m pi by a into x sin n pi by b into y e power j omega t minus gamma z okay these are the four equations ex ey hx and hy okay very easy just it's a lengthy process finally in tm wave what we have done in dm wave what we have done i will uh, explain again see here in dm wave we have taken what is the basic dm equation like uh, delta h delta square ez is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon ez and uh, e, to simplify this equation just we have taken the boundary uh, what is that um, two separate variable method ez is equal to x into y x is a function of x and y is a function of y after that after some uh, substituting the equation x y in this uh, basic standard equation you will be having this 1 by x and dou square x by x uh, dou x square plus 1 by y dou square y by dou y square plus h square is equal to 0 uh, assuming this as minus b square and minus a square you will be having h square is equal to a square plus b square after that in order to simplify this x and y we have taken a four constants z1 z2 c3 c4 and these as these equations after that ez is equal to this one so to simplify this equation number one we have we have used boundary conditions four equations we will be having four boundaries in the rectangular wave so first boundary condition is from 0 to a along the x-axis okay after the simplification this is the final equation again second boundary condition is from 0 to b along y direction x is equal to 0 so this is the third equation we have got after the substitution again from the third boundary condition no constant will be 0 now it will be just a is equal to n by by b again after fourth boundary condition b is equal to m by by a so after substitution of everything and uh, the direction parameter and the variation of sinusoidal with respect to time after adding these two this is the final equation we have got ez is equal to something now Already we have obtained four equations for ex, ey, hx, hy in the propagation of waves in the rectangular wavelet. Those four equations we have taken and as it is a tm wave, we made it hs, hz is equal to 0 and after substituting this and derivating, you will get these four equations ex, ey, hx and hy. This is the propagation of tm waves in rectangular wavelet. Thank you.